Today I'd like to welcome everybody to come together to celebrate Veterans Day. Once a year we have the opportunity to pause and thank those who served our country for protecting our lives and freedoms. Pontchartrain Yacht Club and the City of Mandeville together host this Mandeville Veterans Day celebration honoring your service to our country. We would like to welcome all of our veterans who are here with us today and also those for a moment to remember those, I'm sorry, for a moment to remember those who are not. From this point, we'll go straight to the agenda. We'll have the uh, invocation by past Commodore Cleve Fair. Thank you, Commodore. Let me begin by welcoming all of you veterans and families and all of the guests that are here. And let me add that it's my honor to be here. Before we begin, I would like to also acknowledge the fact that we have in our presence here the oldest living World War II veteran in Louisiana, Earl Forstall, right here in the front row. 104 years old. It, it turns out that, that Earl was uh, crew chief on B-24s in England toward the end of the war when my father was a navigator on B-24s in the 8th Air Force in southern England at the end of the war. Very possible they served in the same unit. So we very much appreciate having you here. Delighted you're still with us. This is a prayer for our veterans. Proud of our nation, they answered her call, defending the freedom and safety of all. On land or on sea, or in jets high above, they go out of duty and honor and love. But however they served, Lord, whenever they went, please bless them and help them to know what it meant and help us to thank them on this day for we owe them far more than we could ever say. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for watching over us as we call to mind the sacrifices that our military women and men have made in service to the citizens of Louisiana and our revered nation. We ask for your blessing as we celebrate the heroes who join us on this Veterans Day and those that are here only in spirit. We especially ask you to bless those who as we speak are in the Middle East in harm's way. We gather to recognize patriots past and present, as well as the families and friends of those who have nobly served. We offer up our deepest gratitude and thanksgiving for their sacrifices and for what they have done for America and people all over the world that desire and love freedom. We ask this in Jesus' name. May God abundantly bless our veterans and may God bless America. Amen. Okay, thanks Cleve. I, I don't know if how many of you know Cleve, but Cleve is a past Commodore of the Yacht Club. But if you say he's a past Marine, he'll be quick to inform you that his oath had no ending date. <laughs> okay. so, but thanks again, Cleve. Okay, we now have the National Anthem by the Fontainebleau High School and presentation of callers by Fontainebleau uh, High School uh, Color Guard.
Fun Blow Blow High School student Grace Alexander will sing the national anthem. Thanks. Thank you. early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave the colors okay thank you von Blau high school now I have the honor to present to you mayor clay madden and uh, he will do some other introductions uh, for us. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to be here today. Uh, my name is Clay Madden. I'm the mayor of Mandeville. And uh, I say this every year, uh, but then I have some new things I'd like to say. Uh, first and foremost, Mandeville, the city of Mandeville, uh, is a place that's very supportive and welcoming of veterans. Uh, I know this from various different uh, places that I visit as the mayor, and I know that we are very, very supportive of veterans. I had the opportunity a few weeks ago to, to attend Mr. Uh, Forstall's 104th birthday, and I told him I was looking forward to attending 105, so I'll see you next year. As somebody that, that grew up in Mandeville, I want to say that as also as somebody that's attended this this ceremony for the past few years uh, one of the most important things that I feel 
uh, is unique about this great partnership between the city of Mandeville and Pontchartrain Yacht Club, and I want to thank the Yacht Club for hosting, uh, is the inclusion of our students here. Uh, these students come to play beautiful music every year, and if we're not teaching our kids about our veterans, um, we're missing a huge opportunity. And so I think their inclusion is very, very important uh, to this event. And as, and as a matter of fact, uh, they are very important to this event. So they'll be playing some beautiful music in a few minutes. But, uh, you know, I have students in the school system that came home with their Veterans Day projects and uh, found myself cutting out pictures of my two grandfathers who are both veterans that are now deceased uh, and my children are now learning about veterans. And I think that's, that's very, very important, very important. So I'm glad to see that the students are here. Uh, I'm glad to see such a great turnout for this event. Uh, it's an honor to be your mayor and I'm honored to live in a town where uh, people uh, come out to support their veterans. And before I leave, I wanna say that we have veterans now that are my age and, and even younger. Matt Cole's back there. Matt Cole and I went to, went to school together. Um, he's here. And so we have veterans, uh, you know, of all wars that, that, that have been in all of the branches of the military and that are from their 20s on up to 104. And we, we value all of them and we honor all of them. And it's a pleasure uh, to be the mayor of the city of Mandeville that honors our veterans in such a way. So thank you. Uh, thank you to the Yacht Club and thank you to the school system that's here uh, today. Thank you. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Frank Jabby. I'm the superintendent of schools in St. Tammany Parish. And it is my honor to be here to recognize all of our veterans today. Uh, you know, we live in the greatest country in the world. We live in the greatest parish in the world. And I represent the greatest school system in the world. And that is all because of our veterans. Our veterans are absolutely amazing. They are such an essential part of our community. And I want to thank you all for, our, for your service. Uh, every year, uh, what hits me so hard during Veterans Day is a principal for a long time at North Shore High School. I lost a graduate. Uh, fighting overseas in Afghanistan, Matthew Powell, who was one of my students and one of my athletes at North Shore High School. I had the privilege of teaching him and his sister Tiffany, and I, I just, I think about him all the time, but especially on Veterans Day uh, when I'm around such amazing people uh, and surrounded by just so many amazing stories. Uh, so I want to thank the Powell family and their sacrifice and what they've done. And again, thank all of our veterans for your sacrifice. Again, because of all of you and the sacrifice you made, we live in the greatest place in the world. Uh, I also, as, as Mr. Uh, Madden said, want to thank all of our students, our faculty, our staff, our instructors, the wonderful parents that have turned out to be here to support everyone today. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to all of, uh, all of you for having us and letting us be a part of this amazing program. I'll turn it over now to Woodlake Elementary second grade students, principal Ms. Christy Wingett, music teacher Ms. Pichon, they will perform, perform two songs for you, the American song and proud of our veterans. Thank you all so much for being here. Let me insert one, one thing I skipped. I've got an excuse. I'm an old veteran. My jacket doesn't fit anymore. I can't hear. I, I, I didn't read the program right. <laughs> you know, it happens. I would like to introduce Ken Bueller. Ken is a past commodore of our club, and he is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thanks. Please rise as you can. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the entertainment and the, our band.
Uh, as they prepare, past Commodore Court Richardson will read the uh, Veterans Day um, Presidential Proclamation. Good afternoon. I'm going to read just a few paragraphs. I've seen this thing before. It's pretty long. This is from Joe Biden, your president. Uh, this Veterans Day, we honor the generations of women and men who have served and sacrificed, not for a person, a place, or a president, but for an idea unlike any other, the idea of the United States of America. For nearly 250 years, our veterans have defended the values that make us strong so that our nation could stand as a citadel of liberty, a beacon of freedom, and a wellspring of possibilities. This Veterans Day, we honor the incredible faith that our veterans hold, not just in our country, but in all of us. They are the solid steel backbone of our nation, and we must endeavor to continue being worthy of their sacrifices by working toward a more perfect union and protecting the freedoms they have fought to defend. In respect and recognition of the contributions our veterans and their families, caregivers, and survivors have made to the cause of peace and freedom around the world, the Congress has provided that November 11th of each year shall be set aside as a legal public holiday to honor our nation's veterans. Thank you. Now with the music ready, uh, another past Commodore, uh, Beverly Tobin, uh, will introduce the, the the, the, the band and the branches, or? Got it. Okay. She's got Miss Pichon. Okay. Hi, I'm Bev Tobin, a past Commodore of the Yacht Club, and also proud to be a retiree of St. Tammany Public School System. And I loved working there. Uh, great teachers, great students, great parents, great administration. Well, thank you. Okay, do you know who I am? I'm Bev Tobin. Can you hear me now? All right. I'm Bev Tobin, a past Commodore here of the Yacht Club, and also a retired uh, employee of St. Tammany Public School System, and very proud to, to be able to say that because I loved my work with the school system. The teachers, the parents, the administration. It's a great system. And with that, the music here and music in general has always been an important element in the curriculum of our school system. And I'm so happy to see the school system and the Veterans Day integrated so that everybody can benefit from that integration. So. Uh, Miss Pichon is going to take it from here. She has the flags for all the military branches. Okay, well, I thought it was Miss P but uh, whoever. Anyway, somebody's going to introduce, and then they're also going to say what branch of the military they're, they're playing the song, and please stand accordingly. <laughs> The Army. The Marine Corps.
Navy. Okay, on to the next step. But two, two little points. Space Force, we had one person stand, I think, and we have to, we, we have to add a flag for next year. <laughs> the other thing I noticed was that one person stood up for two services. Oz, but, but notice which outfit he's wearing. <laughs> okay.
Okay, that brings us near the end of the ceremony. As the color guard comes forward, I'd like to thank everybody that made this possible. Our rank over here of past Commodores, uh, they're the ones that kind of keep me straight. And uh, thanks to all us uh, that, that, that contributed to this. Marion, Marion kind of took the lead on it this year and uh, between her and Nicole. Where's Nicole? Is she, Nicole anywhere? <laughs> Probably buried in the back there somewhere. But Nicole is our general manager. And between the two of them, they pulled it together, plotted and planned, and brought all this together. And City of Mandeville for chipping in on it also. Uh, where is the color guard? They're ready to come forward. And as they retire the colors, uh, the food should be ready. Uh, have to give a plug to um, Kea. Kea uh, was a former general manager of the club and today is the proprietor of Sweet Olive. So the food today is catered by Sweet Olive. And so enjoy yourselves there. Thanks for coming. We look forward to seeing everybody next year. Thank you. Forward, march. 